Hey, what's going on guys? Our weave is made up of really, it seems, two parts now. You've got the PermaWeb, which is their permanent internet. I just covered that in a review video a couple days ago. And then you've also got this, which is AO.Rweave. And this is a hyper parallel computer. So I think they're tapping into AI a little bit and parallel processing and all this stuff. So we're gonna talk about that in the video because if you just are holding the AR token for Arweave's base layer, then you're gonna be receiving some of this AO token as well. But is it worth it to buy the AR token to receive this AO token? And what exactly is going on here? From AO the computer's Twitter, I watched this video. It was 30 minutes long, kind of illustrating the permaweb and really just other applications that are building on the permaweb. Maybe there was a disconnect in my brain where they're really building using AO, which just settles to the AR permaweb, or maybe these are just all applications that are building directly onto, like I said, that base layer. Watch this video if you haven't. It's really well done, and it looks like these projects are really legit. So one of them even being a social media platform. If you're interested in Arweave, go give this account a follow on Twitter, only Arweave. They've actually been helping me out in the DMs try to understand this stuff better. So they say the trick to understanding AO the computer, changing how you think about a consensus. A quick explainer about how Arweave plus AO equals computation. I'm not gonna get super technical in this video just because it's a little bit, the tech is somewhat over my head, but I do understand some concepts here. So one thing they say, providing a unified environment for executing code stored on Arweave can open up more opportunities. So when I think of this, I think of like Apple computers where it has its own closed ecosystem of products that are built with the Mac OS, you know what I mean? But you can build it on other softwares too. But if it's built, specifically within the Mac ecosystem, it's gonna run more efficiently and it's gonna be easier to do probably. They say Arweave only has to focus on storing data, the base layer, which is awesome, by the way, in my opinion, while AO is a dedicated blockchain for computation, which also offers other built-in features like cron jobs, which we're gonna talk about. But so that to me is the key takeaway. You've got Arweave, the base layer, and then you've got, I guess, this separate sort of, I guess you might call it a, comp a layer two computation layer where it can just uh, process way more and handle things like AI. And they say that they can scale horizontally. So from this picture here, a traditional blockchain, right? It's all trying to settle on just one specific layer one. But with AO, these processes can happen asynchronously, meaning that I can run this process and this process at the same time and they both just get whatever happens on that on the process gets saved to Arweave. But as you can see here, this, this processing can just be scaled as required. Although Altcoin Bull did have an interesting comment below that and he says, and what about composability between processes and does this not shard security across processes? So I, I'm thinking each one of these processes maybe is like a layer two kind of thing. Am I, am I on the right one here? Yeah, so it's it's more, it reminds me of how layer twos, right? You've got the Ethereum layer one, and then you've got these layer twos that are on top, and none of them are really composable with each other. You'd have to have finality between each layer two, and there's fragmentation. So if you wanted to have one transaction with one, finality between different layer twos like optimism arbitrum or polygon then i'm not sure you can you can necessarily do that without having to go through steps of finality and then that just adds complexity and if it fails at any particular step then it might you know not work but either way the point here is that it, they claim at least that it can scale almost infinitely and it can do this because of something they call holographic state it's a bit confusing, but the way I'm reading it is that anything that you want to happen through this AO gets recorded onto Arweave. So even if it's wrong or it fails, whatever, it's gonna be logged on Arweave. So you don't really need to go and verify the, the backlog on the blockchain because everything is stored permanently to Arweave. So you've got a chain of all of the computations that have happened to my understanding. 
But again, someone asks a really good question. Holographic is basically just put the result of the computation on Arweave without validation. And then if someone needs to check the result, they ask for it. But it could be manipulated in the whole process as Arweave nodes can manipulate the data stored on it. Although, to my understanding, at least from what I read, the nodes are decentralized. You don't have to KYC in order to participate or anything like that. Although when I did go and look at the Explorer for Arweave, I thought I would see like thousands of nodes, but at least the one I look, looked at, if I remember right, there were only 100. 100, still not bad, especially if they're anonymous and just running because they want to run on Arweave and get rewards, but that number could definitely be higher and that would be nice. I read some of this white paper. I don't wanna bog this video down with it, but one of the cool features of this whole thing is this section here, autonomously activating a contract. So let me zoom in on this, this part. So they say in traditional smart contract environments like Ethereum, contracts wake up to perform compute at the request of the user. So we would have to do something, then the smart contract goes ping, and then it, it kind of kicks itself into, create, in, into action. This creates an environment in which programs are not live unless the user interacts with them. AO removes this limitation by allowing contracts to have scheduled cron transactions that automatically wake them up and execute uh, compute at set intervals. And I think this is where a lot of that AI might come into play, right? It AI could come in here and sort of, it can work autonomously because it doesn't require a user to do anything. So this AO is an Arweave, I guess you might say, native computation layer that's supposed to be uh, infinitely scalable and allow a lot of really performance intensive apps to be built on top with the benefit that they are tied essentially right into the Arweave base layer, which is permanent immutable storage. Let's get into this AO token itself though. So like Bitcoin, it is gonna have four year halving cycles and it will have 21 million tokens at the end of the whole thing. There, were, there was no pre-mine and there were no VCs involved with any of this. The new AO tokens, right? You can either just hold Arweave tokens and they're gonna populate in your wallet or you can bridge staked assets like staked ETH and Sol onto the network and you get some AO that way as well. We already talked about the distribution. Uh, distribution already started in February. So you can already see the, some of that if you've been holding R, the R token for a while. Uh, AO tokens are not transferable until about six to seven months from the time of this video, which was in June. So sometime in December, January this year, they're gonna be transferable and tradable. And I assume that's when they will get a price at which point, but there has to be 15% of the AO in circulation for that to happen. The thing about these AO tokens is the they go to people that hold Arweave itself. A lot of it, right? 36% go to those holding just the Arweave token. When I was reviewing Arweave, I was not able to find a token distribution for the Arweave token. It, it did have a pre-mine of 83% of all of the tokens. So if an insiders, if it's like just one or two wallets holding 50% of the Arweave token itself, then they're obviously gonna be getting a lot of these AO tokens. And I expect that when this starts to trade, this AO token is going to dump. Not financial advice, just throwing that out there. So just be careful with it and maybe you can wait this out. I don't know, like if you already like the AR token, then this is just icing on the cake. In my opinion, it is really awesome. But because of some of the concerns I had with the AR token itself, uh, mostly just that distribution, I wouldn't necessarily go and chase this airdrop and buy the R token just to be able to dump this AO token. And I do speculate too, if that's the reason why there was that massive pump in the AR price was just to sort of yield farm or you know airdrop hunt for this AO, AO token. And maybe that's why the AR is dropping because people are like, yeah, the curve is going up. I've already got enough AO. I'm going to sell my R token now. I mean, there, who knows what could be really going on in the market, but I think that people are are sort of playing this a little bit. And without knowing the AR token distribution, just a little bit of risk in there. 
a concern that I have for this AO token is that I cannot figure out what the utility of it actually is. The AR token makes sense. It is how you pay for permanent storage on the network. Some of it goes to the endowment. Some of it goes to miners, which are storing the data. But this AO token, I was not really able to determine what it does. So I put that out there. And then last, Degenerai, awesome name, says the way I see it is the token, AO token, is a byproduct of the network, which should allow AI agents to act essentially freely. I see AO token as the agent's means of wealth transfer and storage. I'm eagerly awaiting some decent apps to start surfacing. Still early days, so it can flop. And I haven't uh, asked this. I'd be curious if you know watching this video. First, if you're still here, please do hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps me out on YouTube. But why might the AR, why would the AI agents use AO and why not just maybe use the AR token itself? Maybe just because it's not allowed to and it wasn't designed that way, it'd be more difficult. But I do think that this person is also just speculating, which is totally fine. Uh, he, he said, we'll add it to you quite obviously speculative at this stage, right, 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 so we'll have to see. But right now, at least, I'm not able to determine what the point, like why would anyone, when the token is actually transferable and tradable in December or whenever that is, what would stop people from just dumping this token is essentially what I wanted to figure out. And why might someone that wants to buy it, why would they wanna buy it? What is the value of it? One thing I really do like about this project is they do seem to have the crypto, you know, cypherpunk ethos. None of the nodes had to KYC. They're hoping, you know, permissionless. Uh, they want a competitive market to be built on top. It's just some of the stuff with the tokenomics of this uh, make it seem a little bit risky, in my opinion. Although, for an AI project, this one actually does seem to make at least a little bit uh, more sense to me than some of the other AI projects. What do you guys think of Arweave and this AO? Let me know down in the comments if you're still here. I do appreciate you hanging out and watching this video. I hope you got some value out of it, and I'll see you on the next one.